On the early monoplane fighters by Fokker, the wing warping was achieved by a torque tube that was twisted by the control column. This motion was transferred via control cables to a system of linkages mounted to the rear undercarriage supports. The control cables there also acted as the rear spar lifting or flying cables. All they did effectively was pulling down the rear spar on one side and let go the rear spar of the other wing. On top of the rear spar a set of return cables that also acted as landing cables closed that circle. As you can see in this clip, the wing warping was done by rising and lowering the rear spar around its bolted root point. The front spar only is slightly twisted. This produces a huge area of shifting lift and drag along the entire wingspan. The motion of the pulleys show how little the travel of the return cables actually is. If you want to find out more about our work, check out our website. If you need help with your reproduction pre-1920 airplane, feel free to contact us or support our special museum plan. To learn more about it, see our other videos.